it's moment to moment to moment to moment. And it's all those moments wrapped up until the final moment. There was a moment, I was about 15, and I heard sort of this, I don't know if it was an inner voice, a, a, side, a, a voice on the side, I don't really know what, what I, it's like you can't comprehend that, you know, you just, you just hear it and you go, okay. I knew that I was going to be a painter. I knew this would be my career. Everything I am comes out on that canvas. What I connect to most in life is the emotional side of it. I feel my own strength, and that feels really good to feel that um, inner power, inner strength. I walk into a blank canvas with, with just that moment. I start by just putting anything, something there. Sometimes I'll write a word like love, People love the power that comes out and exudes and the energy and the emotion that comes out. They, they feel what I have put there. What I'm putting out of my body, my soul, into that work, they are getting that, and that's powerful. The painting is moving so quickly and I'm happy with it. And I'm, I'm just like in awe of what's happening because I let the paint be the paint that I start to cry. That's when I'm just blown away by this journey and this experience um, that's happening. It's, it's not just, oh, I do a little painting. No, it's very physical, it's very emotional. At the end, I, I'm, I'm just so exhausted from exuding all this energy out of myself into it. It's just really a human thing that drives that expression. I look at them and I think, how did I do that? Did I do that? Is this from somewhere else? I mean, how many energies or are, are what, what is going on in this universe or this place as a human here, as a soul here, that I can do this and so I'm so connected because it is a part of me. I put everything I have into it and if I'm in love with it, which is when I stop the painting. I can't limit myself. If it's happening, I won't limit myself and so I have many, many series. The Many Faces of Abstraction. someone said, who are you, Rose? I would say, emotional being who's present. Yeah, that's, that's it. It's a moment-to-moment -moment thing, for sure.